mention we think that uh, labelling on alcohol um, is very important so people understand the risks that they're, that they're putting themselves in front of. One of the, one of the uh, alcohol labels that we'd like to see is, uh, is a warning that uh, pregnant ladies uh, should not have any alcohol at all while they're pregnant. Um, we've looked at the uh, figures very closely with the NH and MRC and um, there is no safe level that we can say below which there'll be no damage. So the best advice we can give pregnant women is not to drink alcohol at all. And certainly for children, um, there are risks that uh, are lifelong if there is um, use of alcohol before the age of 18. In fact, uh, that, that risk persists until there's final brain maturity. Recently we've seen increasing numbers of, of the statistic that talks about the number of cancers that are induced by even normal levels of alcohol. So these are important things that the population deserves to know when they're making those choices. A number of different cancers can be affected by uh, alcohol consumption. Um, head and neck cancers, oral, uh, throat cancers, certainly uh, bowel cancers in uh, men and women, and we see breast cancers in women. This is important information that people need to know. Uh, it comes at a time also where we see an increase in the excise on alcohol, which was actually a, a routine increase that was um, planned uh, some years ago right. to make sure that we actually uh, collect appropriate amounts of, uh, of excise on alcohol to try and minimise the, the, its consumption. Now we do have a perverse uh, situation in this country where different forms of alcohol are di taxed in different ways. And the AMA also has a view that volumetric taxation is a fairer way to do that. Uh, we wouldn't like to see the alcohol price of any product fall, but we certainly would like to see the, the, the price of some of the very cheap alcohols come up to try and minimise the harm that they cause. Now the price is not completely elastic, so if you double the price you don't halve the consumption this, uh, completely, but there is a relationship between increasing price and discretionary purchases. Now the people who buy less, of course, are young people, because they've got less discretionary funds, and those who misuse alcohol. So those are the two groups we're particularly keen on to see them decrease their alcohol consumption. But we have to remind the public and the population that even at normal, inverted commas, levels of alcohol consumption, your risk of some cancers goes up.